Okay, let's talk about the point-slope formula, and that uh, this formula right here is, in fact, the point-slope formula. And you can see I'm saying that 100% of this is awesome. This is an excellent formula to know. If you're taking algebra, okay, pre-algebra, algebra one, college algebra, it doesn't make a difference. Any sort of uh, algebra, you're going to want to know uh, this formula. It's going to come in so, so handy. And this is... Uh, my favorite way to find the equations of lines, I'm gonna, uh, there's another different uh, uh, formula out there. Matter of fact, I'll just write it right here. Y equals MX plus B, and this is another awesome formula. But when we're trying to find the equation of a line, I'm gonna explain all this in a second. This formula has a lot of limitations. So all uh, problems can be easily solved with this formula. So this is one of my favorite formulas in algebra, you're definitely going to want to learn this, and I'm going to explain uh, exactly how this formula works. Um, we're going to go through an example, and I'll kind of explain it, and then um, if you want more additional help on finding the equations of the line or any kind of algebra stuff, you might want to check out my algebra course, but no, I'll give you more information about that later. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video but basically i have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between so if you're at the middle school high school or even college level in terms of uh, mathematics i can help you excel in your math course even if you're having a difficult time right now i can uh, help you turn that all around if you are taking any uh exam or test that has math on it when i'm talking about things like the ged sat act uh, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or CLEP exam, um, ALEX exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams if you homeschool. I have a very comprehensive homeschool math program. And if you don't have any math notes right now, well, listen, don't panic. I'm going to leave uh, links to my math notes in the description of this video. But uh, if you truly want to uh, be great in math, you have to take great math notes. I've been teaching math for decades. This is the secret. So many students underestimate the importance of taking math notes. So if you start taking great math notes now, you'll thank me later. Don't worry about it. But uh, again, you need something to study from. So start taking excellent notes. Okay, so let's get into the point-slope formula. And we're just going to take a look at one example here. But I'm going to go nice and slow so we understand uh, what's going on. All right, so you can see here I have this xy uh, axis uh, coordinate plane, and I have a nice line. Now, we, could, we call these lines uh, linear equations. Well, this is a line, okay? And uh, an, a linear equation is something like this. y equals uh, 3 halves x plus 1, okay? So this is a linear equation, and uh, it has a respective actual graph okay a line that we can we can plot okay now what we want to do in algebra there's basically two things uh, two big skills that you learn okay when it comes to lines uh, the first is you need to know how to graph lines all right so i'm just doing a quick review here so if i give you a linear equation you need to know how to graph it. So if I give you this, you need to know how to construct the graph. That's a whole separate uh, topic. And by the way, I have a ton. I have tons of videos on this in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist on my YouTube channel. But I teach this extremely thoroughly, and like my pre-algebra and algebra courses as well. So this is one main skill you need to be able to do is to be able to graph a line. Okay, no problem. But what if I want to know the equation of this line? Now you can see I have this little acronym over here. Uh, we want to find the equation of a line, okay? So in other words, I want to find this, and um, uh, but I'm kind of given some clues, and, and the clues would be something like this. Hey, I have this line. It has a slope of negative one-half, and I know that it crosses through the point two, five, okay? So I have this line. It has a slope of negative one-half, and it crosses through the point two, five. Uh, tell me or find the equation of that line. Okay, so we're given information, characteristics about a line. It's kind of like a detective problem. We want to find the equation of a line. And generally speaking, we like to write the equations of uh, lines in y equals mx plus b form, like right here. This is y equals mx plus b form, or the slope-intercept form. Okay, so that's the kind of the main idea. So here, 
if we're given some clues, okay, we might, we might, the clues could be all kinds of things. They could be like, hey, I know the slope of the line, and I know one point that that line goes through, or uh, I'm given two points, okay, of which I can calculate the slope, and I can use this formula. So I really want to make sure you uh, thoroughly understand this, but here is the bottom line, okay? When you uh, are asked to find the equation of a line in algebra, you need to have these two pieces of minimum information. You need to uh, know at least one point that is on the line. We have to have one point at a minimum, uh, know at least one point that's on that line, and we need to know the slope, okay? So we need to know the slope and one point. Now, if you're just given two points, that's a more a little bit different twist of this problem, uh, that's fine, okay? So you can, between these two points, you can calculate the slope, right? Again, a separate, uh, topic, and then here I could use this point or this point as my x, y point, and uh, between these two pieces of information, I could always find the equation of a line. So you got to thoroughly understand that. Okay, you got to understand what we're trying to do in algebra when it comes to linear equations. Just don't like rote memor, you know, like oh, get the point slope formula and just plug in values and not understand the big picture. So hopefully the, this gives you the big picture. Just remember. If you're asked to find the equation of a line, you need, at a minimum, uh, the slope of that line and at least one point that's on that line. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at an example. So here I just have this little simple abbreviation. We want to find the equation of a line, okay, that has uh, a slope of 2, okay, and it goes to the point 1, 3. So let's just imagine over here real quick. Well, that's a terrible little... Uh, y axis. I, mean, I can do a little bit better than that. So here's x and here's y. So uh, this particular line goes through 1, 3. So maybe like 1, 3 would be like right there, right? There's the point 1, 3. And this line has a slope of 2. So maybe kind of angles like this. Okay. So that's kind of like, you know, the basic idea graphically what's going on here. So this line is going to go through this point 1, 3 and it has a slope of 2, but again, I want to know the y equals mx plus b, the actual formula to this line, the actual equation. I want to find the equation of that line, I'll find the linear equation. So I know I'm kind of, you know, being extra, extra redundant, but, uh, you know, I've been teaching this stuff for decades, and, you know, a lot of students don't make these uh, big picture connections. Okay, so here we go. This is the point uh, slope formula. All right, I love this formula. It's super awesome. And uh, when we have information like this, we want to find the equation of a line, you should automatically think point slope formula. Okay, this covers all situations. There is times when you uh, want to use y equals mx plus b, and you could use y equals mx plus b as a formula to find the equation of this line as well, but it's more work. Uh, and believe me, students tend to make more mistakes with this. So anytime you're asked to find the equation of the line, just break out that point slope formula by going to your notes, or hopefully you just remember it, and, uh, and then apply it. Okay, so here is the formula. And you can see here, I've kind of circled, but let me just remove all this here. So this is what the formula looks like. Okay, let me explain what's going on here. We have three sets of things that we're going to plug in. Okay, we're going to plug in for this value, we're going to plug in for this value, and we're going to plug in for this value. So this little y1 and x1 and m, well, what is that? Well, the m, okay, is clearly the slope of the line in question. So in this case, it's uh, 2. And then here, I have this 1, 3, okay? Well, remember, this is an x, y uh, ordered pair, right? This is x and this is y. So this 1 is x1 and this 3 is y1, okay? So right here with this y1, we're going to plug in the 3. And then the m, we're going to obviously plug in the 2. And then for uh, this x1 right there, we'll plug in 1, okay? So that's basically the whole setup. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we have y minus 3 uh, is equal to 2 times x minus 1, okay? I just showed you where these values come uh, from. But these are, you know, don't confuse this y, this x, and, and anything else. These, these ones that I circled right here, these variables, are the ones that you're always going to plug in for. All right, so if you understand that, then this is now just basic algebra. So, uh, and the steps are always basically going to be the same, okay? 
So this right here is a distributive property situation. We have a number outside of this difference. So I want to multiply. You always take the distributive property next. That's almost always the case unless this is zero. But just remember uh, distributive property. Okay, next thing after you plug in, you go to the distributive property. So it's going to be 2 times x. That's 2x. And then 2 times this one is 2. Okay, so if you understand that, that's excellent. And then right here, I uh, just want to solve for y. Okay, the, uh, after you've done this, the whole objective is to solve for y. So now I'm going to add 3 to both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I get y is equal to 2x plus 1. And I am done. Remember, and I let me just kind of emphasize this, uh, you know, again, when you use the point-slope um, formula, okay, we plug in our information, at this point, what we want to do is we want to write this in y equals mx plus b form, but effectively, as far as you're concerned, you just want to solve for y, and that puts it into that uh, uh, precise uh, slope-intercept form, okay? So there you go. So the answer is y equals 2x plus 1, which, of course, is in uh, slope-intercept form. m is our slope, so you can see our slope is 2. Now, graphically, okay, we, this all comes together like this. So here is our answer, y equals 2x plus 1, and here is our point 1, 3, and here is our lovely uh, linear equation, our line with a slope of 2. Okay, so that's the whole idea behind using a point-slope formula. We're given some clues about a line. Hey, I know this line. I know it goes to the point 1, 3. also know it has a slope of 2. What is the, the, its uh, equation? Find the equation of that line. We're talking y equals mx plus b. Well, if you use a point-slope um, um, formula, okay, we get to the answer, y equals 2x plus 1. So this is absolutely essential, critical, must-know algebra skills. And hopefully this little video helped you out. Okay, I wanted to thoroughly explain this because it's not, you know, you, want, you don't, you don't want to just know, like, write a formula down and just, you know, not really know why you're using it. Just know, okay, you're like, okay, I know if I plug in here, I get this answer, da, 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 da. That, that's not how you learn, okay? You want to keep the big picture in mind. That's why I wanted to slow things down and kind of relate all these uh, other topics about linear equations, graphing lines, and finding the equations of lines because they're interconnected. Uh, so hopefully this video uh, was useful, and if that is the case, go ahead and smash that like button. Okay, that definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. That's a long time. I have over a thousand videos. Matter of fact, I'm thinking I'm up to like 1,300 videos right now. I don't count. All I do is teach math. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. I'm very, very passionate about uh, teaching mathematics. So if you like my teaching style, I have a massive amount of content on my YouTube channel. I'm posting uh, new stuff all the time. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.